Hello, everyone, and welcome. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Braeburn Brass Aspen Fundraising Livestream. I'm Wyatt Carview, Tubist and Social Media Manager for Braeburn, and I'll be your MC for the evening. Before we get to our performances, I'd like to describe who we are, what we're doing tonight, and why we're doing it. As I said, we are the Braeburn Brass based out of Chicago. We formed in Appleton, Wisconsin at the 2019 Atlantic Brass Seminar. After finding a really nice personal and professional groove, we decided to stay together after the festival. Uh, since then, we've participated in the 2020 Freshing Festival with the Fifth House Ensemble, as well as a return to the Atlantic Brass Seminar as a featured virtual artist in 2020. So, in December of 2019, we met for three days to record and submit an audition tape for one of the most intense music festivals out there, the Aspen Summer Music Festival. We submitted our application to study as part of the American Brass Quintet at Aspen program, where we would be working every day with one of the best brass quintets in the world on our chamber music skills. We were thrilled to learn in March of 2020 that we were accepted with fellowship, all expenses except travel covered. Everyone here knows what also happened in March of 2020. And Aspen was canceled due to COVID. We were thrilled this year to be offered the fellowship once again. Like I said, with the fellowship, all of our expenses except travel are covered. But getting five people from across the United States to Aspen, Colorado is no small feat. Uh, we're fundraising tonight to cover our costs getting to Aspen. Everything you give tonight will go directly to getting us to and from the festival. Your gifts will help us develop as a group. Aspen will be a fantastic launch point for the rest of our career as a professional brass quintet. If you'd like to give to support us tonight, links to our PayPal can be found right here below the stream, as well as our concert program. Our concert tonight will consist of two quintet works, one each at the beginning and the end of the concert, and a solo performance from each member in between. During the stream, each of the members will introduce themselves uh, and will be responding to the audience in the comments. Feel free to let us know what you think. Because we're named after an apple, each quintet member will also mention their favorite method of apple consumption. We're thrilled to be presenting to you tonight a world premiere of Poiselessness by Enrique Saad, which you can catch as our program finale, so be sure to stay till the end. And to start us off, here's our very own Hamid Barbarji. Hey, thank you so much, Wyatt, for that wonderful introduction. When I first started writing this piece, uh, I drew my inspiration from a few different musical groups that I had played with and toured with or had on repeat. Um, why was their music constantly stuck in my head throughout the day? That's one of the questions I asked myself. Another one was, why can't I get enough of it? And why do others feel the same way? And it's a pretty simple explanation, really. Uh, and it's because it all felt relatable. A lot of times we as human beings need to hear and understand lyrics in order to truly relate to the music we're listening to. And my goal and my challenge was to take away the lyrics and create something that people could relate to. The joys and sorrows we face, the anxiety we suffer through, the love we feel for those around us, the excitement that makes our heart flutter all within a single day. My brother, Quincy Cochran, said that music is the only thing that can touch your emotions without your permission. And he's right. That is my goal. This music is for you, the listener. This music is about your life. Sit, relate, emote, and enjoy. Thank you so much to everyone who has supported me on this journey. This piece was inspired by my family, Victoria, Quincy, and my wonderful friends who make my life better every single day. I love you all. I'd like to dedicate a day in the life to my best friend, Blake Carnifax, and his family.
Hello, everyone. Thank you so much to Hamid for that piece. It was, it's, it sounds amazing. It's really fun to play, and I couldn't be happier to have a trumpet player like him in our group, and a composer. Um, for those of you that don't know me, uh, my name is Greg Papaythemiu. I play the trumpet in the Braven Brass, and I've played trumpet since the fifth grade. So I think that's almost nine years, ten years, give or take, something like that. Uh, I'm from Ann Arbor, Michigan, where I currently live and study trumpet performance and pre-medical sciences at the University of Michigan under Bob Sullivan. Uh, I'd say my favorite method of apple consumption would probably have to be sliced apples. Uh, they're just a lot easier to manage and a lot less messy. And I have braces, which doesn't make eating whole apples very easy. Um, for Brayburn, I manage rehearsal scheduling, the live stream, which hopefully you can all see. Uh, tech, and I run quality assurance in the ensemble to make sure everything we put out is shipshape and up to our standards. The piece I'll be playing tonight, or performing rather, is uh, Entrada by Otto Ketting. Uh, the piece was written in 1958 for unaccompanied horn in F and B flat or C trumpet. I chose to play this piece for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, because the practicality of an unaccompanied piece in a pandemic it's kind of hard to play with a pianist when you're supposed to be, when you're supposed to be social distancing, and two, because I feel like the emotions in the piece conveys. Uh, I, excuse me. I feel like the emotions the piece conveys and the introspectiveness of it are good reflections of the pandemic as well. The title Entrada means introduction. However, there's nothing that succeeds this piece. Thus, the interpretation of the title is up to the listener and the performer. I sincerely hope you enjoy.
Hi. Thank you, Greg, for that performance. You said horn and F2. I kind of like want to add that to my repertoire bucket list. I'm Momo. I use she or her pronouns, and I'm the horn player, operations manager, and general nuisance here at the Brayburn Brass. I grew up in Evanston, and I'm currently finishing up my undergraduate degree in French horn performance at DePaul University. I'll be pursuing my master's, also in horn performance, at Northwestern in the fall. My favorite method of apple consumption has to be biting directly into it, but I don't like to eat it radially, like around the core the way that I think probably most people do. I like to eat from the bottom of the apple directly up towards the stem. And my reasoning is this, um, you might run into seeds that you have to spit out along the way, but you don't notice that you're eating the core as you're eating the apple. So you finish all of the apple and you're just holding a stem and it's zero waste. And I know that that's controversial and I might receive some hate in the comments for that, but it's, it's I will not apologize for that. Um, uh, really, that... We, we have the Braeburn Brass do not condone eating apples in this method. It's bad for your teeth and your throat. <laughs> We're moving on. Um, the piece that I'm presenting for you tonight is called Tanguido. It is by Dante Yenke. It was written for Denise Tryon's solo low horn album titled So Low. Famously, it takes two to tango, and yet this is for unaccompanied solo low horn, and I think that we can read into that. So I think of it as something of a character sketch, and if this were a character, obviously it would be a dancer. I think she's sort of a one-woman show in a very red dress with a tall slit up the side, and she's so in love with herself and fiercely independent and certainly doesn't need a man, which is why you hear her performing both the parts of like the leading and following, the ostinato and the melody throughout the body of the work. There's something of a whirlwind cadenza where she might lose a shoe for getting a little carried away, and um, in the end of the piece, you hear her getting further and further, oh, there's the brown line. Hello, brown line. Thank you, brown line. The piece ends as she gets further away and dances on to the next audience. This is Tanguido. <laughs>
What a fantastic performance. That was Momo Hasselbring performing Dante Yenke's Tanguido. Thank you again for tuning in to the Braeburn Brass Aspen Fundraising Livestream. If you're just tuning in, we, the Braeburn Brass, are raising money to cover our travel expenses to and from the Aspen Summer Music Festival, where we'll be studying intensely with the American Brass Quintet to hone our chamber music skills. You can give at the links below as well as find the concert program. And uh, you'll receive rewards depending on how much you give, which you can find uh, both on, the face or on our Facebook events page. At the moment, we'll be taking a brief 10-minute intermission, after which you'll be able to hear my own solo performance. Thanks again for tuning in, and see you after the intermission. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Thank you. 
Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back to the Braver and Brass Aspen Fundraising live stream, and thanks for tuning in tonight. The music you heard during the intermission was a sketch by Aiden Den and arranged by Momo Hasselbring. If you're joining us just now, we're raising money to cover our costs traveling to the Aspen Summer Music Festival this summer. Up next is my own solo performance, but before that, I should properly introduce myself. Uh, my name is Wyatt Carview. I'm the tuba player with the Braver and Brass. Uh, I am from did my schooling at, and I'm currently in, uh, well, Cedar Rapids in Iowa City, so entirely in Iowa. Got my undergraduate and my master's degree at the University of Iowa. Uh, and my personal favorite method of apple consumption, I'm a tall person, I'm 6'3", so relatively tall. Uh, and I just kind of take the apple, it has to be large, <laughs> almost unhinged my jaw, just let, love big bites. I don't know why, whether it's a compulsion or I just like taking huge bites, but got to do it. So um, the piece that I'll be performing for you tonight is Christoph Penderecki's Capriccio for Solo Tuba. C Christoph Penderecki is one of my favorite composers, and I feel a lot of his works express deep emotions. His repertoire always really, really gets to me. Uh, in particular, his Capriccio for Solo Tuba has excited me and transfixed me for years. It's called Capriccio for a reason. It's quick and free, very open metrically with plenty of space for interpretation. It's brash and expressive nature, plays perfectly into my experience of 2020 and 2021. Confusing, explosive, with a weird waltz section in the middle, very chaotic. Uh, I had tremendous fun recording this, and I hope you have just as much fun listening to my performance of Christoph Penderecki's Capriccio for Solo Tuba. Thank you. 
Wyatt, man, you're crazy. <laughs> I can't believe I have to go after that. Hi there again. Uh, my name is Hamid Barbarji, and I am the other trumpeter in the Braeburn Brass, as well as the audio and video technician. I edit and put together our audio and videos. I'm from Williamsburg, Virginia, and um, I've been playing the trumpet for about 12 years now. I also live in Richmond, Virginia. RBA represent, baby! I went to VCU for my undergrad and studied trumpet performance uh, under Rex Richardson, Taylor Barnett, and Brian Strolley. My favorite way to consume an apple is in sauce form. Uh, the piece I recorded 
Moy Linda, Spanish for very cute, was written by the English composer Anthony Holborn uh, around 1599. Uh, this piece is a Renaissance era galliard that was first published in Holborn's Favans, Galliards, Alamans, and other short airs. Um, it was written for five instruments, and these could have been voices, strings, and or wind instruments. I received my inspiration from the Canadian brass recording on their album Perfect Landing and arranged the piece for five trumpets. I think my favorite part about recording this was recording uh, and playing the ornaments. So please enjoy Moye Linda. Hey y'all, you just heard Hamed Barbarji playing Moy Linda by Anthony Holborn. Um, you also heard Hamed proving that he doesn't need the rest of us to play in a quintet. So Hamed, please, we love you. Don't leave us. We need you. Um, that's all I got to say on that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I'm Brian Entwistle. I'm the trombonist here in Brayburn. I'm from Farmingdale, New York. I spent seven years living in Nashville, Tennessee, where I did my undergraduate at Vanderbilt University, spent a couple years uh, doing some freelancing, recording, teaching, all that fun stuff. Um, and a couple years ago, I decided to uh, move up to here to Chicago to get my master's degree at DePaul University. So now I'm up here in Chicago with my wife and dog. Um, if you have caught me not practicing, then I'm probably reading, gaming, or baking. Um, I, I like to bake. I've been doing a pie of the month challenge for 2021. You can follow along my trombone and pie adventures on Instagram at btwistle or on Facebook. Both happen. Um, and I don't know what everybody else is talking about. I've seen some people in the in the chat talk about this already. So I, I know I'm I know I'm supported here. But as long as you're not allergic, if you're not eating your apples sliced with peanut butter, you're doing it wrong. I don't make the rules. That's just how it goes. If you're not allergic. Um, Anyway, the piece you're about to hear from me is called Blues March. It's a, a movement from an unaccompanied suite for bass trombone, actually, um, by David Fetter. And uh, the, the fun thing about this piece for me is it's actually the first piece I studied as a music major at Vanderbilt. Um, and it ends up being the last thing I performed at Vanderbilt, too. So it's always, you know, I always like to, to bring it out and play it every couple of years because it, it kind of serves as a marker for me personally to to remember where I started as a trombonist and, and how far I've come and how far I'm still going. Um, you're really going to get to hear me be a one-man band here. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you can kind of imagine being at like a jazz parade in New Orleans, if anyone can remember what being in crowds felt like. Um, but, um, you know, I really get to do it all. It's ja super jazzy, super fun, big finale. Um, it's, just, it's just a good time. And I'm hoping that we all can have a good time like that in person before long, but this is David Fetter's Blues March. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Brian Entwistle. He truly does it all. I'm thrilled to be presenting this final piece on our program to you tonight, which is Enrique Saad's Poiselessness. We came by this piece totally serendipitously. Earlier in the pandemic in the fall, a friend and myself were so desperate for any ensemble playing opportunity that we were just sight reading some horn duets out on my front porch. And a neighbor, and it turns out music lover and horn player, stopped by and introduced herself and offered to put me in touch with Enrique Saad, who runs a brass band here in Chicago called Circus Trout. I didn't end up joining Circus Trout, but this is what put Enrique and myself in touch, and he found out about the Braeburn Brass and got very excited and offered to write this piece for us. So the piece was originally called About Anxiety, and Enrique told us once in a rehearsal that it was informed by the emotional environment caused by the pandemic. And that's something we can all relate to. So you'll hear a lot of tension and sort of agitation and interruptions throughout the work. There's a real moment for everyone to shine. Keep your ear out for like an awesome trombone solo. And um, this is the world premiere of Enrique Saad's Poiselessness.
That was Enrique Saad's Poiselessness. It was a joy to put together and what a tremendous piece. We'd like to thank Enrique from the bottom of our hearts for writing that for us and letting us premiere it tonight. Thank you again, everyone, for coming to our live stream tonight. And thank you to everyone who has donated tonight. In particular, Donald Hasselbring and Dr. Cliff Colnott. Um, thanks again to everyone who's donated both before and during our stream tonight. We were overwhelmed by your generosity. Every donation counts and your gifts will go directly to getting our ensemble uh, to the Aspen Summer Music Festival and straight to working with the American Brass Quintet. Once again, I'm Wyatt Carview. We are the Brayburn Brass. Thanks for tuning in and have a great night. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thanks, Thank everyone. you all. Good night. Have a great night.